So I just wanted to get on here and give you a little update on what I've been working on and what I'm currently working on and what I'm going to be working on um, in the next like week. So um, I just wanted to let you know that we are done with market, the farmer's market. We uh, Last weekend, last Saturday was our last week at the market. Um, it's kind of bittersweet. I love the market very much. It's like something I really look forward to every week. So it's kind of sad in a way that it's over. But it was kind of nice in a way because it was getting so cold that we could hardly stand it, me and the plants. <laughs> Last weekend, it was 28 degrees in the morning when we unloaded and we had to quick gather all the plants as soon as we got them out of the truck, put them underneath the table, wrap them all in big blankets that we brought. And then around, I think it was around 10 a.m. when it was like 39 degrees, then I started bringing them out, hanging them up in the macrame, setting the table. So it was so cold last week and it's just gonna keep getting colder. So I'm kind of happy that the market's now over because the plants, the weather is just really cold. What I'm doing right now, I'm in my kitchen um, and I have been pouring down in the basement for about almost two weeks now, all of this stuff getting ready um, for my next little project that I'm doing. <laughs> So uh, about two weeks ago at the market, there was a lady that came, and this is kind of the same storyline as what happened at um, when we set up for the Kellogg's Manor. Um, but anyway, so a lady came to the market and she's like, hi, I own Lux Gift Shop and Boutique. It's downtown Kalamazoo, and we're gonna have a re-grand opening on November 24th and we would love it if maybe you would be interested in you know making some stuff for our shop and i was like yes i'm interested <laughs> and so um, i did a zoom meeting with her and the other owner the two ladies um, about two weeks ago i think it was and we worked out all the details of how many um, of what they wanted me to bring and all that um, so i just wanted to share with you kind of what i'm bringing um, but before I do, I just wanted to explain just a little bit about the Lux um, Boutique shop so you kind of know like where or what it is and you know, and um, I'll put some pictures up in here too so you can see. Back in 2020, when we had COVID, they had the, the Lux Boutique had to shut down because of COVID. And so, and before that, they were more of like just like women's clothing and stuff like that. So now they're doing a re-grand opening a few years later and they're kind of doing a little bit different things. They're going to be doing um, women's like for her, for him, and for home. So a little bit more, you know, different things. So for her, it's stuff like um, clothing, um, accessories like scarves, hats, you know, mittens, uh, jewelry, um, perfumes, lotions, stuff like that. Um, for him, they have like um, watches, wallets, um, shaving stuff. And then for home, they have like blankets, pillows, candles, um, bath towels, hand towels, stuff like that. So, so it's kind of now this, um, it's called Lux uh, Gift Shop and Boutique. So um, they're kind of reopening it and doing kind of like a new twist and adding new um, products. So with that, they asked us if we would like to, you know, be a part of it and try to sell some of our stuff in their shop because they're really, really in, which I think is awesome. They're really, really into supporting local, like supporting local other artists and other creators. And so I was just like, so happy that they wanted us to be a part of it and you know and join in and um, their re-grand opening so um, yeah so I'm just excited to be a part of it <laughs> so anyway um, so what I first did was kind of like I did with um, the Kellogg's Manor oh, I don't know if you can see it very good on this thing but I came up with 11 items and I just put like us what it is how much money how many I'm gonna bring in just an item description. So I first got this and what, you know, something for me to work off of. And then I started going down the list, making all of these things. 
So I wanted just to show you kind of everything that I made and then I'm gonna put it all, like kind of organize it in bags and then put it in this black crate um, to give to them. I made 10 bookmarks. Ooh, the sun's shining. That one like shimmers. <laughs> so I'm gonna just double check. I'm gonna go down my list and I'm just gonna count, make sure we have 10 bookmarks. One, two, three, four, five, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I remembered now that when we were on our Zoom meeting that they said, could we have more bookmarks and more big sun catchers than everything else? So we decided on 15 bookmarks. <laughs> I can't probably, the sun, oh, look at that sun shining through the window, oh. Um, so what I did <laughs> was I took these paper bags and I labeled them all. So I'm gonna look through here for bookmarks. Just so they, cause I don't know how familiar they are, you know, with our stuff. So I just thought, well, I better label it just in case. So I did 15 bookmarks. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put them all in here. <laughs> so they're kinda oh, somewhat organized for them. Yeah, cool. 15 bookmarks. So we'll set that aside. Five bottle openers. So, which are one. Oh, that sun shining. Just love it. Two, three, <laughs> four, five. And I did all different like shapes for them. Just something, you know, so they have a little bit of a selection. So we'll put these in my bottle opener bag. Next is I did four uh, thumb page book holders. They're kind of cool. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. And I'll show you kind of quick what they are. So if you're reading a book, you can put your thumb through the hole and it holds down the pages um, of a book. And so your thumb doesn't get you know, tired or sore. A lot of the teachers really like them at the farmer's market. So we just did four of those. We did 10 keychains. Like, whoop. I try to do like silver, black, rose gold, gold, you know, different, um, diff all different kinds, you know, different shapes, different charms, just a whole bunch of different ones. So there's five we we'll put in the bag. And here's the other five. <laughs> so there's our 10 keychains. Mini sun catchers. <laughs> so they're right here. Try to do all different shapes of mini sun catchers. There's five of them. <laughs> Put those in the bag. They're just like on a burlap rope. Here's the other five. Hearts, clouds, in a square. 10 pairs of earrings. I tried to do different ones again, like gold, bronze, different shapes, different, you know, different ones. So they had a nice variety. So there's five. Here's the other five, some diff different ones. <laughs> Necklaces, try to do different ones again, like different shapes and different colors. More necklaces, a vial one, heart, huh? <laughs> mushroom, umbrella and kitty. Hair clips, I try to do different shapes of hair clips, I did 10. Oh, that sun, it feels so good. I'm like trying to get my face in it. Oh, it feels so good just coming through the window. I did 15 sun catchers, the big ones, because that's what they wanted me to do a little bit more. So I just did all, try to do like, you know, different 
different ones. There's the uh, moon and the unicorn. And then I did like, you know, um, that shape one. Kitty, fairy, that's a wolf howling at the moon. <laughs> Hearts, a couple different heart ones. Oh, I, um, I've been using my broom corn. I don't know if you can tell, but that um, like uh, reddish one, that's broom corn. So that's kind of cool, it's looking good in there. And then some butterflies and some other like bigger ones. I don't think that the sun catchers are gonna fit in a paper bag, so I just did this. I just got a bag from uh, Meyer, and I'm gonna wrap them up like maybe like that. Oh, I wanted to show you, I got a new um, stamp. It says, uh, Plant Life Farm, Handmade with Love. You can't really tell because it's not focusing very good. But I got a new stamp I was really excited about. <laughs> it took me a little while to figure out the stamp. Um, some of them turned out really good as, you know, like as I was figuring out how to do it, like the stamp turned out really good, you know? But then other ones I kind of messed up on when I first started doing it. They, you know, I was trying to get a feel for it. After I get done packing all these up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get ready, go down back downstairs and make more of everything, earrings, necklaces, diffusers, all of that, um, because we have a two-day craft show um, this weekend, which is the 18th and the 19th, Saturday and Sunday, um, at the Kalamazoo Expo Center, which is like this big like fairgrounds area in a town. Um, so it's the biggest craft day of the, or yeah, biggest craft day of the year at the Expo Center. The lady that puts it on, it's called her holiday craft show and it's for like, you know, for presents and stuff. So there's like over 300 vendors that go to it. And the cool part is, is we get to set up on Friday night. So you can set up um, anytime Friday at one o'clock to eight o'clock. So we're gonna set up um, Friday afternoon and then we, me and Cece are gonna go to the craft show um, on Saturday, it's from nine to five. And then after that, the uh, Sunday craft show is 10 to three. So I got a pretty big weekend. It's the biggest craft show of the year at the Expo Center for us. I'm excited, but a little, um, I get a little nervous just because I want to you know, do a good job and um, just make sure I'm ready and prepared. I have two more things I gotta do, which is our uh, refills. I got new refill bottles, which is kind of cool. Um, I did 15 different scents. So I did five different scents in these refill bottles. So I'll put them in here. I did 10 um, diffusers, which is like, you know, dried flowers. And then I did different scents. So I did my new logo on the one side. And then I did um, like what uh, variety, or I mean not variety, um, scent it is on the other side. So, and then I try to do different shapes and stuff too. And they smell amazing. You can hang them up in your car or wherever you want in your house. So um, I did 10 of those, so I'm gonna put those in here. And I also just printed out a couple things for them just in case they wanna use them it just kind of tells the customer at their um gift shop like what what it is like a diffuser refill i printed them out too for um kellogg's when we went to kellogg's just in case because i'm not going to be there to explain it to anyone and then sun catchers too just in case they ask and then um the owner of lux asked me to print out a little thing which i just printed it off from our website it's just a little bit about about us it's kind of an older picture i need to do Different. I did a little one too, just in case that was too big. I did it of the same size. I'm gonna put in our inventory too with that, just so they have it. And we'll put it in our crate. <laughs> well, I am meeting her Friday night um, when I go to set up for the craft show, you know, Friday night. Um, I'm meeting her at the Expo Center and I'm gonna give her this crate. <laughs> So she's coming, um, but I told her that I'm gonna probably be here setting up Friday night, like from, uh, 
five to eight, I think. So she's going to come anytime in between that, and then I'll just run back out to my car and have this crate all ready to hand to her, and then she can go um, set it up however she'd like to set it up in her shop. She said she has some displays like that she's going to set everything up, so it'll be kind of fun to see how she sets it all up and um, how it goes over. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was uh, not too boring. And I just wanted to kind of give you an update of what I've been working on and um, what I'm working on this upcoming weekend, our big craft show, two-day craft show. And then um, we got asked to set up a few things at the Lux gift shop and boutique so I was pretty excited about that so it's kind of nice I got it all set ready to go and now I'm heading back downstairs to get ready for our craft show and pack up all of our uh, crates and probably make quite a bit of more things so all right well I hope you're having a great day and thank you for watching this okay bye <laughs>